Hello and welcome to yet another Bob Cook Reviews a Psychotherapy book. Um, with me is Bob Cook from Manchester Institute for Psychotherapy. And Bob is journaling via video his polymathic knowledge of, of psychotherapeutic literature. And um, today's book's a real treat really, isn't it? Because it's a, it's a seminal book in the world of counselling psychotherapy and it's called Beyond Empathy. So why is this your choice for this particular book review, Bob? Well, this is the second book review after the Burns book last week, which was Psychotherapy, um, the 1971 book. So this is probably my favourite book, actually, in the world of psychotherapy and counselling. And it's by Richard Erskine. And uh, I like it because of two major reasons. One, he spells out clearly an integrated model of psychotherapy. And secondly, what I particularly like is it's full of case studies and transcripts and explanations about clinical theory into practice. And it brings the world of psychotherapy alive. It brings the actual therapy room of therapist and client alive. Wow. So it really is a book, of, not just a, a book on dry theory, but one that actually paints a vivid picture of what goes on, that interchange, that delicate play, interplay between clients with the theory intertwined between it. Would that be would that be a good summary, Bob? That would be a good summary. Um, it's a master craftsman in action. He's been around for 50 years, at least. Wow. He trained with, he trained with Fritz Perls. He nearly saw Eric Byrne, but missed uh, it by 20 minutes, wow. which he's always uh, saying to me about uh, is a disappointment in his life. But he goes back a long way, and his integrated model, which really is taken from his ideas on transactionalysis psychotherapy, um, and he takes it further, a step further. He produces a methods inquiry and human involvement of how to do psychotherapy, and an integrating model, which is taken from ego states, in fact, really. But he talks about an integrating adult. And it's fascinating reading, absolutely fascinating. Um, if, you, if, if you just open the first book and it goes through, sorry, the first chapter, it goes through a review of the literature and outlines his model and then takes, I think, I'm not quite sure many case studies, but brings that model alive in the room so you can see integrative psychotherapy in action. And then he explains why he did that, what he did, what he did in terms of interventions, clinical theory, um, and also goes on to explain a treatment plan. So he talks not only about how you do it in the actual clinical setting, but where the therapy is heading. So it gives a very holistic approach to the therapy. Yeah. It gives you not only not only an example of his interactions, but also a real overview of how he plans to facilitate and move therapeutic change within that particular client. Yeah, it's very humanistic. His definition of integrative psychotherapy, I like. It has two parts. One, um, a model borrows from, uh, you know, many very well-known schools like self-psychology, psychodynamic theory, transaction analysis, cohort. So he bought, so it's influence. So there's an integrative concept there. And secondly, which I really do enjoy, um, the idea of the integration of the self, that the therapist is always aiming to help the client take ownership of the different, distinct, fragmented, disowned parts of the mm. self and mm -hmm. help him become aware of these parts in the service of an integrating whole. Yes. Yes. And for those of you who are wondering what this book looks like, I'm going to put a slide on the screen now uh, for a few seconds and we'll put that slide on at the end and also a link to where you can buy the book from so you can click on it and if you want to buy it, that uh, you, you can. So, so there's the book. Um, so, Bob, what is it that draws you to this book? What is it that kind of makes it a very special piece of literature in your life? Well, of course, I know Richard Erskine well, who's the author of the book. 
and the person who created integrative psychotherapy. I've been in a lot of psychotherapy workshops with him, but he also trained me for 9, 10, 11 years in the whole art of psychotherapy and how to look towards helping the person become aware of the cut-off parts of the self and help him integrate, take agency and ownership of the self. So I love the concepts. Mm. But I also have seen him utilize these concepts in action. So I have a personal identification, a personal touch, if you like, because I've been there when I've seen him work. And I followed in his footsteps in mm. terms of training with him. And then I would call myself an integrative relational therapist. Mm. So mm. I work within the relationship, helping the person get in touch with the part of himself he's lost through trauma, whatever way you want to look at this, deficits, and help him integrate that whole different part of himself so that he, though, so that, um, he can utilize the energy that was stuck in the disowned parts and use that energy to actually um, affect cure. Mm. So for me, it's the clinical ideas and also seeing the man in action. So I've got a, I've got a personal and a professional um, affiliation to this book. Absolutely. And what kind of level of therapist would find this book beneficial, Bob? Is this a student book? Is this someone who's been around therapy for a long time? Does it, does it fit with any particular theory? Who, who is the kind of person who would benefit most from this? I think a student, mm. a person who's done a first training in some type of psychotherapy because they'll see the advanced nuances of the work that he does um, and they've already got a first training on under their belt. So in some ways, students... Master, you know, people who actually have had a first training want to refresh their skills or develop the knowledge that they know already. So it would be for beginning students all the way up to people who are already psychotherapists who want to uh, read a book of advanced nuances for master craftsmen. Mm. So you've got a wide range there. Um, is it for somebody who doesn't know any about psychotherapy? In my opinion, they would find it interesting to read, but they're going to get much more out of it if they have a have a background in psychotherapy in some way. Yeah, they're going to be able to draw from their experiences of training, and that would just add to the book yeah. and add to what they know. Yeah. And and so it's very yeah. much a, a, a text to enhance someone's existing yeah. skill set. Yeah. Yeah. So counsellors and psychotherapists, we found it fascinating. They have a glimpse into what happens in the clinical world. You know, they have to go out in the world and do placements, mm. start seeing clients. This will give them, via transcripts, a picture in the world of how clinicians work. So, for example, in our training in integrative psychotherapy at the Manchester Institute, it is a, it's a first-year book which the students will visit, revisit, and visit again all the way up mm. to graduation and beyond. So it very much is a staple for your student training, you know, one yes, that's on the reading book. list. Yeah, it's a must book to buy. Mm. Um, and I, I, I think anybody who's interested, particularly if they're practicing or going to practice, would find a certain aliveness and uniqueness in uh, reading this book, um, particularly the explanation explanation of clinical theory into practice mm. that's what i think I enjoy the most in a lot of books you don't get that you have a theoretical explanation but the transcripts aren't there to bring it alive so mm. i really recommend it to um counselors therapists alike and people perhaps who are just starting the world of psychotherapy just to get a glimpse on what a master craftsman does in the therapeutic room well it sounds like a, a ringing endorsement for this text mm. and you know bob cook thank you so much for sharing um mm. this book it's, it, it seems to have a real personal place in your heart as richard erskine trained you and and you, mm. you, you you've seen him in action and yes. and also it's one that you pass on like a treasure to yeah. your right. your students yeah. so so we'll yeah. put a link um, at the end if anybody wants to look at the book they can click on it and um, 
this isn't a paid endorsement for the book. This is just Bob talking about his books. So you click on click on the link at the end underneath the video. It'll take you there and you, you can see a bit more about it. So so the book we reviewed today is Beyond Empathy by Richard Erskine and uh, seems one not to miss. So Bob Cook, thank you very much. Thank you, Roy, for giving me a chance to talk about this fantastic book. A pleasure. Thank you.